Alright! Hello, everybody! Hello, Olga, Scorpions, Mime Cat, Liz, Baka, Takuya, and Void Dweller! Welcome back to Chaos Child! It feels like it's been 500 years. Oh my god, but the schedule of wackiness with Limbus. We're almost there, folks. Last time, the big reveal has happened! At last! Oh my god! <laughs> yes, Nono is actually Senri, and you guys are saying, oh my god, there were all these clues everywhere. So she had the, uh, I didn't see him, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Bleed, welcome to the stream. I didn't frog and see him. The, uh, oh my god, and like freaking Serica being all Yandere is fucked too. Like, we get so much of Yandere Serica in this room. They are fucking spoiling that me so much. <laughs> and like, the fact of Nono actually being Senri, who took the identity of her best friend after she died using her newfound uh, Gigalomaniac shape shifting powers, which doesn't really help you fight, but. Oh my god, I did bleed. Oh god. Ah, well, you know what? Let me. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? Th that's a lie. There we go. Oh, I always speak up whenever anybody does that. Uh, oh boy, don't worry, don't worry. If you do, if anybody did, I, I always do. So, um, oh my god. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh my god. I seriously, I could not believe that she was actually Senri the whole time. So Serica must have known this from the very beginning. So, it's interesting why she didn't see that it was um, a detriment to her plot. Because right away, everybody would know. I mean, not everybody, but Nono slash Senri would know that something's up. That this can't be correct. Like, that Senri is doing the murders because she's actually Senri. So, I want, it's like almost like antagonizing Nono. Senry gut. Uh, same person. I just, uh. I wonder why she did that. Is it is it part of her whole rivalry thing? Because, uh, if so, damn girl. And, like, uh, how amazing. I just want to point out the, the parallels between Senry and Nono. I mean, as. as God damn it. Oh, God. I'm gonna be fucking this up all the time. Senry and Serica that they each hide their true selves they each they each can't be like th themselves with taku they feel to to be close to taku they have to be someone else and for completely different reasons and it's just so incredibly fascinating that this guy who loves the truth at two girls who are steeped in lies have fallen head over heels for him. And I just find that such an incredible dynamic. And I really want to see where it goes. I love how this side has been progressing. I honestly wish they had just devoted half the game to this. Again, like Steins Gate Zero type deal. It's already longer than the other routes, it feels like. Uh... I, uh, because Olga has told me that uh, there's quite a bit left. At least two streams, I'm thinking. So, anyway, let's get back into it. So fascinating. And another girl, the one we saw as Senri, had taken her place. Serica's words had come out of nowhere. And I couldn't believe them. And I'd already said that I'd believe Nono when she said she was telling the truth. I wanted to believe. But... She's just trying to act like everything's the same. Takuro? Do you want seconds? Yeah. 
No, I'll pass. Asa da te amari tabete nakatta kedo. Hyotoste choshi warui? You didn't eat much breakfast either. Are you not feeling well? Betsni, dajou da kara. And oh my god, and I just realized this is also why she wanted her him to call her no no so badly. Oh my god. No, I'm fine. So I see. I said I wanted to believe, but it just wouldn't be that easy for any human being. The more you want to believe, the more you try not to think about something, and the more that tiny thorn in your heart digs deeper into you. I knew that was just what Serica wanted, but that didn't mean there was anything I could do about it. Um, are you two fighting? Eh? Huh? Oh. Oh. その昨日からなんだかよそよそしい感じがしたので。Well, you've been acting kind of strange since yesterday. のの姉ちゃんたち喧嘩してるの? Are you guys fighting? べ別にそんなことないわよ。ねえ、タクル。no, that's not true. Right, Takuru? Right? Oh, yes, we're not fighting. Hello, Light Arimura. Welcome to the stream. Takuru-ni-chan, Big bro, you should apologize soon. That's why you do I said we're not fighting. Even if we were, how do you know it's my fault? Because whenever Big Sis is mad, it usually is. Don't worry, Yuto. For once, Takuru didn't do anything wrong. Honto? Really? Honto, honto. Sore yori hora, chanto ninji mo tabe na kya dame yo. Really, really. Now come on, eat your carrots. Uh, boku ninji kirai. I hate carrots too. I hate carrots. So na koto itte tara. If you talk like that, you won't grow up to be big and strong. Nona was bothered by it too, and it showed in the way she was acting. The doubts within me and Nona's unease had built up to the point where even Yamazoe could sense them. We'd fallen right into Serica's trap. And I knew for a fact that there was only one way to get out of this. It's not that I'm doubting her, it's I'm doing this because I believe in her. Because I want to believe. That's what I told myself over and over again as I went to the meeting spot. <laughs> I love that the detectives actually have stuff to do in this route, too. It, it, it makes it feel less like a bonus. Sheesh. At some point, I think I became your personal errand boy. Shinjo-san's words were sarcastic when he saw me. But it made sense. I'd been coming to him for everything lately. 
本来外部の人間にこんなものを見せるのは感心できるこっちゃないんだがな I'm really not supposed to be showing these to people outside the police force, but whatever. すみません I'm sorry. まあいいさ、今更だ。それよりこいつが頼まれていた例の物だ。Well, it's fine. It's too late for that now. Anyway, this is what you asked for. Shinjo san took, took out a large envelope and put it on the table. Etto, mite, e d e s k Um, may I look at it? So no tame ni motte kitan daro? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I brought it here. What do you think, just to show you the outside? Arigato g o z a i m a s Oh god, Void, you know who that is. <laughs> Thank you. You know who. Oh, wait, no, he's actually. He wasn't a detective, he was a reporter. Uh. Probably Blickwinkle from, uh. But, like, worst? He's not, like, a bad character. He's just a. <laughs> he's, he's. He's humorously bad at his job rather than, like, making, uh. <laughs> rather than, like, negatively affecting the story. I could tell my hands were shaking as I reached for the envelope. If I wasn't suspicious, there was nothing to be afraid of. If I believed her, there was no reason to hesitate. Hello, Nagi Tuna. Welcome to the stream. But I still wasn't sure whether it was okay for me to look. Dosa. Minai no ka? Well, you're not gonna look? Yeah. No, Gumshoe's fine. I, I never played an Ace Attorney game on stream. Like, well, a real one, I mean. No. I opened the envelope and took out the documents inside. So it's in a Shibuya Jishin de Nakunata to Saredu, Minamisawa Sendi no Kenshi Shiroda. That's the autopsy report from Minamisawa Sendi. Was believed to have done the Shibuya earthquake. Shinjo san whispered and looked around as he spoke. Nani say, Anotoki wa jitai ga jitai datta ka na. Minamisawa Sendi ni kagirazu, iro iro to funshok sare teru data mo okte na. A lot of the data from the earthquake period is pretty spotty, and not just for Minamisawa Sendi. Ichiro no Shibuya jishin no higai sha no uchi. 遺体の損傷が激しく身元がはっきりしないものに関しては残っている組織によって DNA 鑑定が行われた I'd have to think about that then We did DNA test for any victims of the earthquake whose bodies were too badly damaged to be identified 当然南沢千里のものとされている遺体も火災による損壊が激しく組織の一部が DNA 鑑定に回されている course, so You can see when you look in the file, but both of her parents perished in the earthquake as well. So, no say de Minamisawa Sendi no Itaini Kanstewa, so no DNA Kante no Kekka or Shokai Sru Izeni, Toji Stashkata, Toaru Jimbuts no Shogen Niote. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, no, no, frickin' 4D chess here. And before they could match her body with the results of the DNA analysis, a close friend identified the body for us. <laughs> a close friend? Kurusu Nonoda. Yup. Kurusu Nono. In other words, Nono was the one who told the police that it was Manami Sawa Senri's body. 
That was the only reason that anyone even believed she was dead in the first place. Kurus no 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 shogen no mi niori, so no itai wa Minami sawa sendi to nintei sare, izoku ni hiki wata sare te homu rare ta. Koko made wa ii na. Kurusu no no's testimony was enough to ID the bodies of no so as sinners, and it was returned to her family and buried. Got it so far? Hi. Yes. Yoshi. De, sono shita no futo da ga. Okay, good. Then the envelope under it. So it's ga toji no DNA no kante kiroku da. Kanshiki kan no shiriai ni atama o sagete, chokotto sono kiroku o tsutsuite mita. Okage de ramen ippai bun da. That's the DNA analysis report. I begged a guy I knew in forensics to take a look at it. Now I owe him a bowl of ramen. Ramen's not that expensive, so that's pretty okay. Ah, so that's why I'm not a bowl. Professional ramen is so amazing. Oh, I can. Oi, oi, eat them. It's just a bit. I'm not going to give it to a child. Hey, I didn't mean it. I'm not so poor that I need a kid to kid to pay my bills. Shinjo-san was laughing, but his salary probably wasn't that high. With payday coming up, it was probably a pretty big, big blow to him. De, Such a nice guy. So, back on topic. I matched the analysis with the information I had. I said ramen, Void. To get straight to the point, the body's DNA didn't match the DNA of Minamiso Senri's mother and father. Which means. So the body didn't belong to Minamisawa Senri. So you got it. That's right. Slowly, slowly, everything Shinjo-san said began to sink in. The body that Kurusu Nono had claimed was Minamisawa Senri wasn't. But then why had Nono said that? Oh god! Taku! You are so far in denial, Taku. Had she mistaken someone else for Minamisawa Senri? But how was that possible when they were supposed to be best friends? Had Serika been telling the truth? Oh, Taku. So now the question is who the body actually belonged to, but... He motioned for me to flip to the next page. There there were 348 identified bodies that were sent for DNA analysis. Some data I closely compared to the results of them. Among them, most likely, Minami Sawa Senri and Boshi are related to each other. Here we go. 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 After going through them all, I found one whose DNA matches to the point that I believe she's the mother of the person we thought was Minamiso a Senri. Her mother? In other words, it was the mother of the dead girl. So, so no hito What's that? Shinjo-san took a sip of water to wet his throat. His next words were clear and unmistakable. Kurusu Yukako. Yep. Shibuya Jishin de Ashista Kurusu Nono no Hahaweda. Kurusu Yukako. 
the mother of Karus and Nona, was crushed to death during the Shibia earthquake. Everything went black. I thought about what he was telling me over and over again. The corpse that allegedly belonged to Minoso Asenri was actually genetically re related to Karus and Nona's mother. Which meant... Oh. Minamisa Senri no mono to omoarete ita itai wa Kurusu Nono no mono datta. The body you thought was Minamisa Senri was actually Kurusu Nono. I didn't even recognize my voice as I spoke. Sore wa sono machibai nai koto nan desu ka? Oh, you uh, certain, this is true. Data wa kamoku ni, da ga yuben ni mono ga tatteiru. The accuracy of the data is beyond question. Minami sa wa senri wa, shinyu ga shinda koto o kanashimu dokoro ka, kore saiwai to akke naku kiri ste. Minami sa wa senri to shite irei hi no shita ni homutta. Instead of being sad when a friend died, she buried a friend on the under the earthquake memorial, and then told everyone that her dead friend was Minawi's of a senri. So she I I have really thanked the person who posted the fan art of 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 Sarah doing the freaking uh, Yandere face. <laughs> In the, uh, in the in the art gallery, on on the Discord. Thank you so much for that. I gotta check who it was. Just oh my god, I needed that so badly. Thank you. Uh, it was Nagi. Uh, thank you, Nagi. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. And then she began a second life as the bright, cheerful girl who everyone loved. Serika's voice echoed in my head. So she really was. <laughs> yep, Nagitone, yep. <laughs> Thank you. You'll... Believe me, won't you? <laughs> Why? What the hell? She told me to believe her! Why did she tell me to believe her? Ah, oh, same, Nagitona, same. Oi, Miyashoku. Hidoku Kawiro ga warui ga daishoku ka? Hey, Miyashiro-kun, you're looking pale. Are you okay? Uh, uh, yes. Anyway, about these results. About that. Can you let me handle this for a while? So you that ought to want there. I thought you'd say that. Sumimose. I'm sorry. Ma Isa. Daga, so no mamma ni steoku ake ni moikanai. Is there talking of Tara? Kitchen to shot you a torasset and Well, it's all right. I can't just ignore this. When the time comes, I'm gonna have to take action. Right. Yare yare. Ore mo tonda oshito yoshi da na. Ah, yare yare. I'm such a softy. Shinjo-san kept talking after that, but I couldn't hear a single word he said. I'd love to get like a. Uh, I'd probably play it on my own, even like a. Uh, uh, LCC, a uh, Chaos Child LCC. I just, um, but I'd like to, if there's a, because 
I, I'm, I'm more in it for the romance, and I, I'd love to get a way to avoid all the perverted CGs and stuff. Because there are probably a lot. I just want to look at, like, probably just the Serica and No-No Roots. I, um, and maybe he and I, I, uh, if there's just a way. I don't know. Is there, like, a censoring patch for LCC? Uh, like, because I'm just waiting for the goofy romantic comedy and, like, the sweet, you know, and, you know, like, there's probably no, like, action-y stuff in LCC, but... It's like, I, I get that, you know, the perverted stuff is probably a lot of the point of LCC, but if there is one, I don't know, I, I'd love to take a look at it, like a censoring patch. Or a mod, I should say. All I could sense was some dark thing sinking into the pit of my stomach. I staggered back home like a zombie in a graveyard. The lead weight in my stomach got heavier. There was a feeling inside me that I didn't recognize at all. Oh, welcome back, Takuru. Um, where did you go? Oh boy. Nodo was smiling at me like always. But I could tell she was trying to judge my mood. That only upset me more. Wait, LCC is a sequel? Really? Really? But isn't like everybody alive? Isn't it like, I thought it was like a goofy AU. I know the Chaos Head one is uh, is supposed to be canon, but everyone's everyone was alive at the end of that game. It was so obvious now what she was afraid of. Takuru? Takuru? Karusu Nono. The person I always thought was Kurusu Nono. The girl I always thought of as my stepsister. But in reality... <laughs> this girl is actually... Hey, Takuru. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? My ears started to ring as she spoke. Lumps of emotion collided and fought within me. What's wrong, big bro? Are you sick? Is it just like a different world line, Liz? Should I lay out a food for you? No. Why don't you two go play outside? Huh? Huh? Outside? Can we? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what Serika's goal is at this point. Like, is, is she like... Is she gonna, like, if, it, like, the whole murder plan is down in smoke, up in smoke, so... Is she even still gonna, like, try to do that, or...? Because it feels like, now, like, her goal was just to expose Nono as Senri. So... Like... Is she... I, I assume she's still gonna work toward fulfilling Takadu's goal, but... Now that he's aware of her, that would be a lot harder, and she'd probably have to go back to the planning phases. I seriously doubt she'd just kill people willy-nilly. Oh, wait, Takuru, what are you saying? Serika was just here. 
We can't send them outside alone. It's too dangerous. アパートの近くなら大丈夫だろう。その代わりに何かあったら大声出すんだ。いいな。They'll be fine as long as they stay near the apartment. If anything happens, yeah. Got it? Um, I got it. Uki, n e j a i go. Uki, got it. Uki, let's go. Uh, uh. Yes. Ah, j u t Hey, wait! Ooh, they want a private talk between mom and dad here. We've been so insistent that they stay inside that they were probably eager for any chance to get out. They were gone before Nono could even finish her sentence. Just Takuru, do you. Hey, Takuru, what are you. Omae ni hanashi ga arun da yo, Kurusu. I need to talk to you alone, Kurusu. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Caruso's expression tensed when she heard what I called her. Oh boy, back to Caruso. It's interesting that he's not calling her a senri. Well, it's, it makes sense why not in front of the kids. I had to say it. I had to ask. I had to know. If we were going to stay like this, if Caruso was going to stay Caruso, <clears throat> if we were going to be a family, it was best that I didn't ask. This is Takuru in a nutshell here. This is like, this is pure unadulterated Takuru. His character in like basically one scene right here. <clears throat> However, <clears throat> sorry. ついさっき新庄さんに会ってきた。I just met with Shinjo san. For better or for worse, that's who Takuru is. 新庄さんにどうして ?With Shinjo san? How come? 調べてもらったんだよ。南沢千里の死について。I had him look into Minami Sawa Senri's death. I thought she'd get angry or be surprised. But she listened to my words without changing her expression at all. ここに DNA 鑑定の結果がある。南沢千里だと思われていた遺体の。Like the result of the DNA test right here to the body that we thought was Manawi Sawa Senri. I tossed the brown envelope on the table. But Caruso didn't move to pick it up. She already knows, obviously. She just said two words. So. I see. That was all. Alright, bye, Void. Thank you for coming. Why did you do that? Why did you do that when you told me you believed me? I was expecting her to say that. But she didn't. See you tomorrow, boy. Instead, I was the one who spoke. Why? Takuru, this has less to do with you and more to do with her own personal feelings about herself. And apparently, her shape shifting ability is like permanent because it persists even after death. And it's not like something she has to hold in place either. So it's like literally just a one and done thing. It's not something, it's a very strong shape shift. どうして言い訳しないんだよどうして否定しないんだよ Why aren't you making excuses? Why aren't you denying it? だってタクルの中でもう結論は出てるんでしょ Because you already have your answer, don't you? だけど否定してくれよ
But come on, deny it! Tell me I'm wrong! You're practically admitting it! Even if she denied it, it wouldn't change a thing. I'd probably get mad that she was still lying. But even if I knew it didn't make sense, I still wanted her to say I was wrong. I wanted her to deny it. I still held on to a sliver of hope. I wanted to cling to the slightest chance that she had something that would make me think the DNA test was wrong. But instead, all she said was... Gome. I'm sorry. In other words, she admitted it. She admitted she wasn't really Kurusu Nono. <coughs> I took my anger out on the table in front of me. What the hell? What the hell do you mean? What does that mean? Calm down, Takuru! How the hell am I supposed to calm down? Please listen to me! Oh no, 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 Takuru, no, 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 oh, Takuru, that part wasn't a lie at all, it was all a lie, wasn't it, right from the start, it was a lie when you said we were a family, it was a lie when you said you cared about me, Takuru, no secrets between family members! How could you ever say that when you were lying about your own goddamn name? That's not true, Takuru! It's not. <laughs> What's not true? Tell me! I didn't mean to deceive you. I didn't mean to lie to you. But when I met you, I was already Kurusu no no. I never wanted to go back to being Minamisa with Senri. I didn't want you to hate me. So. Caruso was forcing the words out. But I didn't try to deceive you. It hurt me the whole time. I wanted to tell you that I wasn't really Kurusu no no. But I thought if you knew that I'd lose the life I now had. If you knew I wasn't really Kurusu no no, the cheerful girl that everyone loved, but that it was really the gloomy, creepy men I was with Senri instead, I thought you'd hate me! When I thought about that, I was too scared to tell you the truth! I didn't try to lie to you. If nothing else, I want you to believe that. You want me to believe? Those words shook me even more. Believe? 
You want me to believe you? I'd lost the ability to control myself. I'd lost the ability to control what I was saying. I lost the ability to control what I was saying. You were the one who betrayed me! You did the exact same thing with the truth about my mom and dad! You lied to me the whole time! You said you'd never do that again! But that was really just another lie, wasn't it? That's... I gotta say, he's angrier about this. Then he was about Senri. Um, th then he was about Sarah being a serial killer, which is pretty fucking crazy. You said that a family wouldn't keep any more secrets, but you kept the most important secret you could, and now you want me to believe you? I can't believe you! I can't believe anything you say now! Sakura... Sakura... Karusu's eyes were overflowing with tears. But I couldn't stop myself from speaking. What do you Shit. Oh god. Oh my god, Taku. And now we see like the negative, you know, the more negative side of Taku. So what now? Are you going to tell me our family is supposed to believe in each other? Then we're, then we're not a family anymore, are we? Never pretend you're a part of my family again! I let it all out. When I was done, there was nothing left but emptiness. But even after that, I still couldn't forgive her. Her tears, her words, they all seemed like lies. And so... I'm so sorry. I watched as Karusu turned and ran out of the room, but I didn't try to stop her. <coughs> Slamming the wall. Damn it all! Smashing my fists into the table wasn't going to change anything. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! But I slammed my fist into it over and over again anyway. <laughs> what the hell is this? Why the hell is all of this happening? God, Mio is gonna be bel I, 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 I'm assuming Mio isn't home because she would be, like, bursting down the door right now. Serika had betrayed me. Caruso had lied to me. Everything I thought I had was turning against me. It was laughing at me like as it fled away. I didn't know what to believe anymore. I didn't have anything left to believe in. Serica said she'd committed all those murders for me. Caruso said she didn't want me to find out about her secret. Why? Is all of this just my fault then? I wished for a case that would shake the whole world. I wished for a family. That's why all of this happened. Right? 
<笑>なんだそっか<笑><笑>そうだぜ。あれは僕だ。It's all my fault。It's my fault for being here。It's me who was making everyone around me miserable。The victims of the return of the new gen madness。Yui、Dad、Ito。Serika, Kurusu. It's all my fault. Maybe I should just go away. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Maybe I should just go and disappear forever. Oh, I got a Kofi. Oh, thank you so much, Olga. Oh, for the Kofi. Oh, I didn't get this with the $10. Thank you so much for the donation. Olga. Please. Oh, shit. Anyone. I. I don't care who. Come kill me. Just come kill me, please. Oh shit, and she'll do it if that's his wish. Oh boy. You're listening right on away. That's my wish. So. I suddenly heard someone open the door and run into the room. Was it Serika here to grant my wish? Takuro-nii-chan! Big bro! Ima, Nono-san ga... Nono-san just... Nono-nei-chan to... Nani ka atta no? Did something happen with Big Sis? Takuro-san? Takuro? The two of them were looking at me concerned. But I didn't have the energy to answer them. Caruso didn't come back to the apartment that night. Oh shit. November 22nd, 2015, Sunday. Oh, she went back to the house. What am I doing? The rain had started to fall, and the next thing I knew, I'd come here. I changed out of my wet clothes and into the old uniform I kept in the back of the dresser, and then looked around the room once more. Hello, hello, Mirage. Welcome to the stream. Oh, yes. And no one had dinner that night. Yes. Oh, God. They closed the place down, but hadn't, they hadn't changed the locks or put on a, a chain on the door. The spare key was in its usual place. They should have just let us stay here for a while longer then. Seriously. If they did, maybe this wouldn't have happened. <sighs> I desperately tried to drive the thoughts from my mind once more. Anyway, thanks to that, to the key, I'd made it inside easily. I knew it was wrong, but I'd come here anyway. I had too many memories here. I needed to come here to say goodbye to my past. All that, all the furniture was still here too. It was much the same as when we'd lived here. But since there was no one to clean it, dust had built up on the shelves, tables and floors. 
I softly ran my hand along the desk. A streak of brown appeared under a thin layer of white. I would have thought it would get so dusty if no one who was here for such a short time. The day we left, it was felt it felt like we were never coming back, and I'd been terribly sad. Tadaima. I'm home. I whispered softly. Of course, no one answered. The place was empty. But still, this was where everything I had was kept. Everything I had is Karusu Nono. I hated myself. The person named Minamusa was Semri. Oh, here we go. From her perspective. Oh, gosh. I think I should... Change to the sunry voice, probably. I'd always been alone, ever since I was a kid. At recess time in daycare, everyone would go out to the playground and play on the swings and slide. But I like to stay indoors and read books. No, I didn't actually like it. I just pretended I did so I wouldn't have to interact with other people. Oh, wow, that is hashtag relatable for sure. That's totally me at a young age. Even at a young age, I already thought that any interactions with other people would just bring me pain and sorrow. I left us to spend time in the computer room. But that didn't change in elementary school. And instead of changing... My introverted personality only got worse. Now, after having lived as Caruso Nono for years, I knew. If the person tries to stay in their shell, no one will ever try to get close to them. Why would they? They had lots of other more fun things to do. Bye, Light Arimura. Thanks for coming. They have lots of other more fun friends to spend time with. That's why I was all alone. But that didn't mean I was bullied. For as long as I could remember, I'd always been worried about what other people thought of me. I was good at avoiding becoming a target. I tried my best not to stand out. I tried my best not to make anyone mad. That was my life. But I still hated myself. I hated the girl named Nawisawa Senri. One day I talked to my mom about how I felt. Mom. I want to be friends with everybody. I want to have a personality that'll let me make lots of friends. Thinking back, that was my first mistake. That was when my own personal hell began. Mom took me to a lab. Oh, yeah, because they were part of that stupid fucking cult. God damn it. Oh, fucking hell. That stupid fucking cult. They told me that if I went there, they'd fix my shy personality. It was a lab that was affiliated with a pharmaceutical firm that my dad worked for and had deep ties to the weird cult that my mom believed in. First, it was just simple psychological tests. All the doctors there were nice. When the test finished, they gave me candy. I started to look forward to going there. I was a child. I was a fool. 
At first, Dad was opposed to me going there, but after a while, he almost never came home anymore. Mom said he was busy with work. And then the experiments began to get more serious. They would force my eyes to stay open as they showed me all kinds of weird images. Oh, God. They made me listen to this weird, creepy static for hours. Hot things. Cold things. Sour things, spicy things, nasty things, nasty things, nasty things, painful 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 things. Again. It was Neurose. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> they put weird machines on my head. They gave me drugs. They gave me dozens of shots in my arms. When my left arm turned purple, they used the right. When the right arm turned purple, they used the left. Again. No matter how much I cried and screamed. No matter how much I said I didn't want to go. Mom told me it was my task in life to go there and be experimented on. What they were doing there was special. I was chosen. So I couldn't tell anyone else. That's what she said. Mom wouldn't listen no matter what I said. But Dad, maybe Dad would. I longed to meet my father. And then one day, I saw him in the middle of an experiment. When I finally saw my father again, he was like a different person. Not the way he looked, the way he felt. Before, he'd been so opposed to me going to that facility. But now he said the experiments were for my own good. I was a small child with nothing left to believe in. Did they brainwash him? Oh, God. The drugs ruined my skin. My hair would fall out sometimes, too. I lost the few friends that I'd had. Then one day, the scientists were all very happy with the results of the experiment. Dad was happy too. I didn't care. I just wanted to get away. Then the experiments got even worse. They gave me shots. My whole body hurt. I thought I might die. I fought back. They tied me to a chair. I had a weird device on my mouth. I couldn't even say it hurt anymore. And then... I thought I saw someone looking at me from the door. From her per Oh, this is from her perspective. Save me. If someone's looking... Then please save me. Please. But there was no one to hear my voice. No one came to save me. I fell into despair. But nobody came. Despair at the past. Despair at the present. Despair at the future. There was no hope there. Only pain and suffering. 
生きるのがこんなにつらいなら私はもう生きていたくなんてない If living is this painful then I don't want to live anymore I truly wished for death and then it happened she spoke to me for the first time are you okay huh you're not looking too good want to go to the nurse's office What's wrong? Oh, no, I'm fine. Honto? Really? Uh huh. Oh, I'm Kurusu. I'm Caruso Nuno. What's your name? Minamisawa Sandy. Minamisawa Sanri. Sandy, Dane. Yoroshiku. Sanri, huh? Nice to meet you. Yoroshiku. Caruso san. Nice to meet you. Caruso san. No, no, de iyo. Minna sao yonderishi. Call me Nuno. Everyone does. No, no. No, no. Uh. Yes. She was a single ray of light in my dark life. Nano chan was always cheerful and smiling. She was nice to everyone. There was always a circle of people around her. I couldn't bring myself to try and join that circle. I just had to sit there and watch. But whenever I did. Sandy Tamoideo! Isanyasobo? Senri, come join us! Let's all play! She would shout to me. I could see the people around her frown. Nono chan must have known too. Some of them would just walk away when they went to join the group. Oof. Eeyo, so you used to a hot tokeba. Wow. Just ignore those guys. They don't matter. We're friends, aren't we? Friends. You and me. Huh? You don't think so, Senri chan? Oh, no. Uh, that's not it. But can I really be your friend? <laughs> what? Of course you can! Of course I could. Those words made me so happy. They kept me going. They saved me. Nono-chan was cute and popular with the boys. Kawaharakun and the other boys would gather around her. They were all after Nono-chan. I knew they didn't like me. Sometimes they'd say the only reason I existed was to make her look better. But I didn't care. I knew Nono-chan didn't think that way. One day, Nono-chan asked me a question. Senri-chan, what do you always go home Senri-chan, why do you always go home early? I had no idea what to say. By that time, they were doing the experiments on weekdays, too. I was going to a weird place where they did creepy experiments. Mom told me not to tell anyone, but... I told her she might think I was weird, but maybe I could tell her. Uchite ne, 
It's just me and Mum at home, so on my days off, I have to do chores all day. Huh? I was surprised. Nana Chan had always seemed so happy. I didn't know she had any problems at all. Maybe it's the same for you? I... Oh... I yeah... Maybe Nana-chan felt bad for me. When I thought about that, I couldn't tell her the truth. And... It made me feel a little better to think I wasn't the only one suffering. And then I started to hate myself. Nanachan was honestly worried about me. So how could I feel that way? But still. I was jealous of Nanachan. She was cheerful, pretty, smart, and everyone liked her. I looked up to her more with every passing day. I started to wish that I could become Nono-chan. But that was never going to happen. And the more I started to feel that way, the worse the experiments got. I never told anyone, but somehow word started to go around that I was going to some weird lab. Well, that's weird. I wonder how that happened. My skin dried and cracked. My hair fell out. Eventually I stopped being able to move my legs like I wanted to. She would have probably died if the earthquake didn't happen. And then came the day of November 6, 2009. I was undergoing another painful experiment that day. On my way back I became very dizzy and collapsed. I thought it was a side effect of the drugs they'd just given me. But it wasn't. Everyone on the streets of Shivia had fallen over and was crawling on the ground like me. The buildings collapsed, the tree on the trees on the side of the road fell over. Crawls Cars and trucks lost control and collided. The whole city turned into hell in an instant. I didn't know what had happened. The experiments had caused my legs to shrivel up, and I couldn't walk right. Someone in the fleeing crowd pushed me over, and I had to drag my wounded body home. Mom was dead. It had happened so fast. She had that same self-satisfied smile on her face that she always had. This is for your sake. This is a sign of your faith. Those were the words she had always said when she made me suffer. And now she was gone from this world without suffering at all. I felt a feeling that I'd never felt before. It wasn't sorrow or loss. Yeah, seriously, rest in piss. God, what a piece of garbage. But it's, it's more the cult brainwashing. A while later, someone came from the facility to tell me that Dad had died as well. He'd been unlucky enough to be in Shibuya for a meeting during the earthquake. I still didn't feel sad. At the same time, the people from the facility told me to evacuate to the hospital. They'd been showing me these strange pictures and said they'd seen some kind of symptoms develop. They didn't want to lose a valuable guinea pig. Even with all that going on, I could tell what they were thinking. Mom was dead. Dad was dead. Did I still have to undergo more experiments? Did I still have to suffer? 
There was nothing left to tie me down anymore. I smacked away the big hand that reached out for me and ran. I kept running, not even knowing where I was going. I still don't know how I ran on those weak legs, but somehow I found the strength. I didn't want to go back to the lab. Ever. That was enough to keep me going. And after I turned down many corners and scrambled over a bunch of rubble, I found her. Chan. Even buried in the rubble, she was beautiful. She was still conscious, oh god. Senri Chan. Nono chan, are you okay? I'll save you! I couldn't just let her die. Nana chan was my best friend. And more than anything, she was the person I wish I could be. If she died here, I'd have nothing left to live for. I desperately tried to move the rubble off her and save her. But I was too weak. That's right. There was nothing I could do. I didn't want to abandon her, but there was just nothing I could do. It hurt. It hurt, Senri-chan. As more time passed, blood started to trickle out through the rubble, and the voice began to get smaller. Mom, where's mom? Oh shit. I looked around and saw a grown up's feet poking out from under the rubble behind her. They seemed like a woman's feet. Oh, Your mom is just fine. I'm glad. So you'll be fine too, Nono-chan! Senri... Senri-chan. Nono-chan then grabbed my arm. Her hand was surprisingly cold. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This line. I don't. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Nonocha. Nonocha. I'm sorry, Mom. That's what she said when she was dying, right? It was like on the rooftop in the main route. I think. I can't. Oh no. Oh my god. Tears pouring down her face. 
as she slowly closed her eyes. Or rather, not she, but Senri no no. No no chan. The strength left her hand. No no chan. 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 No matter how much I cried. No matter how much hard I hit her cheek, she wouldn't move anymore. <laughs> I cried. Nono Chan's death meant the death of the person I looked up to. It meant the death of my hope. It may as well have meant my own death. No, no, Chan. I wanted to be you. Even in death, she was pretty. And what about me? My hair was a mess, my face was covered with soot. I must have cut my face somewhere, too. If someone was going to die, it should have been me. I... I should have died instead of Nono-chan! And then I saw something strange. Oh, here, a full look at it, finally. The, fri the Reaper Blade. Dang. I love the D-Sword designs in Child. Seriously, they go so hard. They're so creative. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like a wing, yeah. It was like the wings of a huge bird. Soaring through the skies. Or the hands of a holy mother coupled in prayer. Organic, yet inorganic. I was so entranced by it that I didn't even realize someone had come up to me. Did you see a little girl around here? She was about your age, looks kind of gloomy. It was one of the men who come to take me to the lab. When I didn't say anything, he sighed and walked off. It didn't make sense. Weren't they looking for me? Huh? Huh? Cast in surprise at something I saw in the corner of my eye. It was a piece of glass embedded in the wall of a collapsed building. I could see Nonochan reflected in the pieces. But Nonochan was right at my feet. Then Nonochan in the glass was looking at me in surprise. I took a step closer. And so did the girl in the glass. I tilted my head and so did Nono-chan. No way! No way! I turned to Nono-chan. I looked around for something else that would show my reflection. I picked Nono-chan's phone off the ground and used it to take a picture of myself. Oh. I was Nono-chan. I, 
couldn't believe it. But that was reality. I'm Nono-chan. Oh, what had happened? Did it have something to do with that headache? Or with that weird sword I've seen? Maybe it was because of those awful experiments. But it didn't matter. Just become Nono Chan. If I could just become Nono Chan, I wouldn't have to do any more experiments ever again. I'd be free of the chains of pain, sorrow, and loneliness that bound Minami so suddenly. I could spread my wings as Kurusu Nono and fly off into a beautiful blue sky. Flames were already spreading from the collapsed building. again and again as I dragged Nono-chan's body out of the rubble and put it in the fire. The smell of burning hair and flesh stung my nostrils and it was only then I realized what I was doing. I quickly tried to grab her body and pull her out but it was too late. Soon her body had turned to black ash and I passed out. When I woke up at the hospital, a new life as Kurusu Nono awaited me. All my classmates, including Kawahara-kun, came to visit me. They were nicer to me than they'd ever been to Minami Sawa Senpai. Fortunately, nobody questioned if I was really Kurusu Nono. Nono shall have been buried as Minami Sawa Senpai, based on what I told the police. Even that, in that unprecedented disaster, I still thought they might get more suspicious. I was astonished at how easy it was. For a while afterward, I felt guilty about how worried everyone was about me. I was terrified they'd find out. My personality in particular wasn't something I could quickly change. I'm sure a lot of things I said struck people as wrong. But time was on my side. Everyone simply decided that I was traumatized by the loss of my mother and friends, and were actually even nicer to me. And at some point, I got used to be pretending to be Kurusunono. I mastered the role and stopped feeling guilty. Soon I really was Kurusu Nono. That was about the first time I saw a boy in a coma named Miyashiro Takuru. After that I was taken in by Alba Dawn. Then Yui and Yuto came. Takuru came too, still in his coma. I took care of him every day. I nursed him back to health. We fought. Not long after, we opened up to one another. And we became a family. Takuru left the dawn. We became a family again. We stopped being a family, and in the end, I stopped being Kurusu Nono. I was back to being Minomi Sawa Senri, the girl who lied to her family for years. But... But what else was I supposed to do? 
Was he supposed to go back to that lab as not with was Henry? Be experimented on as a gigalomaniac. Said my entire life suffering in that dark damp building. Without anyone ever loving me. And die as a guinea pig with no happy memories, no warmth at all. I live Ash, welcome to the stream. Was that what I was supposed to do? If so, then why was I even born? I wanted to live. I wanted to be happy. That was all. I knew it too. I knew that it was all a lie. All the smiles, all the kindness, all the friendship. They were all for no no chance. They weren't for me. They weren't for Nogusa was Senri. <sighs> Takuru's voice echoed in my mind. It was a lie, wasn't it? Right from the start! It was a lie when you said we were a family! It was a lie when you said you cared about me! I can't believe you! I can't believe anything you say right now! Would he accept me? Ne, Takuru. Tell me, Takuru. What am I supposed to do? Korekara. Dosrebayinokana. What am I supposed to do now? What could I do now? Oh god, what a horrible time to get hiccups. Oh shit. What was important to me? I. I took a bite out of a simple meal of margarine and toast. There was nothing else. My god. And there we have Senri's full past. Jeez. What a root. What a root. Oh my god. There was nothing else. There wasn't the usual meal of crisp lettuce or juicy tomatoes. Or tasty hot dogs. Tasty hot dogs or eggs cooked just the way we like them. Just plain toast and milk. <sighs> Yuto was ignoring the toast before him and watched me carefully. He timidly opened his mouth. Hey, I'm big bro. I knew exactly what he was going to say before he said it. Where did Big Sis go? He'd asked me that many times over the last day. I told you she went to stay with a friend. You're lying. Hina isn't even here. You don't know that. Yuto cut me off before I could finish. Oh, 
僕たちに何も言わずに友達のところに泊まりに行くなんてそんなの嘘だ That's a lie Big sis wouldn't go over to her friends without saying anything to us Yutoku Yutoku I didn't expect them to believe it either. But I wasn't sure if I could tell them the truth. Wait, we aren't that far from the end, really. Even if I did, they wouldn't believe it. How could I expect them to believe that she was actually a girl named Nawisawa Senri? Who had taken Kurusu Nono's place using something called Gigalomaniac powers? It was much better not to tell them the truth. Well, I mean, we know that Uki is a Gigalomaniac. She would know that. It's better not to tell them. That's right. There was nothing I could do. If the truth wasn't going to make anyone happy, it was better not to tell them. No secrets. That was just a means to an end. I knew that. But I still couldn't accept it. As a family, we had nothing strong to bind us together. We were just a group of people living under the same roof. That promise had been a symbol of what bound us as a family. That was all. That promise had been a symbol of what... Oh. It would take me... That's why I didn't want to accept it. You know what? If it does, then I'll stop at the end of this scene. So we can have more time next time. I didn't want to accept that she'd lied to me. Hey, big bro. Why are you lying? I'm fine, thanks, Nagitona. That's right, I was lying to Yuto and Yamazoe. Did I have the right to criticize Nono? To criticize Nawisawa Senri? Did I have the right to live with them as a family? Takuru-ni-chan,てば! Big bro.
Shut up. <gasps> huh? I said we went to a friend's house. I stood up and headed for the door. Takuru-san, where are you going? Big bro. Bye, Baka. Thank you for coming. I shut the front door as if to block off his cries. Outside, it looked like it was about to rain. Of course, I hadn't brought an umbrella. And even if I did, it wouldn't. I wouldn't feel like using it. What was Kurusu doing? Was she keeping out of the rain? I laughed a little. She was always the one who told me to take an umbrella when I went out. I don't think I came here because I thought Caruso would be here. But maybe, just maybe, a part of me did. I was the one who told her that we weren't family. Okay, here we go. I think this is a good place to stop for today. I, uh, do you think this would be the, considered the end of the scene? Because uh, he, he changed places, so... I have a feeling things are going to escalate from here, so... Next time, the finale... Of the No-No Route. Who boy. I cannot wait... To see how this ends. My god. Seriously, you guys. This route has been incredible. So much lore, so much emotion. So epic. Seriously. Thank you guys so much for, for coming to me here. Seriously, thank you. Oh boy, next time. Next time. Woo! End of No No Route. Oh my god, or Senri Root, I guess you could say. <laughs> this has been incredible. Until then, I will say so long, farewell, Avrita saying goodnight. You're all the sweetest of hearts. See ya. Oh, and uh, by the way, that's tomorrow, I should say. That will be tomorrow before I end the stream. It will be tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, hundred percent. It, it's gonna be tomorrow when we end end the no no route. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I know the schedule is, is a bit weird this week, but yeah, it's gonna be tomorrow. And those of you who want to stay for Limbus Company, it's gonna start in a couple of minutes after this. So until then, I will say so long, farewell, Avrita, and good night. You're all the sweetest of hearts, and see ya. <laughs>